So today we have this 2017 Hyundai Accent. Because my complaint is that uh, the brake lights don't work. Um, let's go ahead and get familiar with the system. Okay. 17 cent. <clears throat> the thing I like about <laughs> thing I like about this about the rip fit they have links they could get into but we won't have to put them in so let me go ahead and click on that let's try the custom plank <clears throat> you can see I'm pressing the brake pedal and in the back then the lights turn on so, I was doing a little bit of digging before, before anything. It shows that the brake switch has four pins, pink, one, three, yellow, blue two, and pink and black four. So we should have power fee on one and three. So, let me get to it and I'll show you guys when I have a chance. So I am on pink, as you guys can see. Let me see if I can put this on. There you go. Sorry about that. You guys see the pink wire. Lights up. And the yellow is the third one. Right there. That lights up so that does work i'm going to get pierce probe on the rest of the wires and see if that switch closes we will test here and then we will test on the module and go from there so as you can see at this diagram you can see that it comes in and i go to number Give me a second. Okay. It'll come in and then it will go straight to the blue wire. Same as the yellow will go straight to the pink and black. And then should cut off when that brake pedal is being uh, pressed. Right now we're connected to blue. As you guys can see. Uh, sorry about that. Press it. Guess what? Okay, great. That's fine. Let's check the next circuit. Now the other circuit is closed the whole time. And then lights up. Let me double check that. So pink or black. See that way you also have to double check this. Pink or black get power free when the brake pedal is pressed. Blue stays on the whole time and you press the brake pedal. Okay. <coughs> and let go to the brake switch right here. Just so we could check and make sure that we don't have a fault in the back. I am connected to green, which becomes red on that connector right there. Let's say current. You can see the brake lights, they light up. So, reds are corporate. So we have to come up, go here, 
and then go through this wire right here and should be coming out from pin number four from the stop signal electronic module so we're able to find something real quick you guys can see right there that's where we have to go to first we're gonna have to remove all this panel so we could be able to uh, diagnose and find the issue so we're gonna remove this first and then go from there so that the module those are the same wires as I took this off to get a better look at this connector they took out the module I think it was an accident before as you can see pin number one is uh, black it's black orange then it's where's number three I'm gonna say number three number four is red <clears throat> five I see pink with black Then I see red with black, which is down right there. And I see yellow, which is the one right here. So, we won't have to get a module, install it, and that should be, that should be it. But, let's go a step further, and let's send power to this red wire. And see if we get it. Also, we could test the pink with black or we add it. Pink with black should have current. Give me one sec. So, I don't know how well you guys could see that. But there's a wire right there. Uh, put the brake pedal, nice light up. I didn't force it in, but just gently put it in. You can see how big the spaces are. I could let the thing focus. But anyways, uh, I got signal there. Then what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna send signal to the back, which is a red wire. Let me get to that red wire and confirm it. I don't know how well you guys could see that. Let me just uh, grab a jumper. Let me grab a jumper from my box. So, so from there, I have a Pierce probe connected to my jumper. I'm gonna go all the way over here. So what? I you can see the lights do light up. This also checking wire integrity from here all the way over there. So this is a easy fix. I mean it's a mistake that anybody could do. This is a mistake that anybody could do. But this where I'm going with this. These cars are not being made like they used to. I'll turn this off. 
these uh, these cars are not being being made or how they used to be. So, with that being said, I mean we have a switch now that's added like a sensor that gives input to bare modules that the brake pedal is being depressed or not, such as the ATM shift lock control module, the PCM, the ECM. ECM did for manual and this is for automatic PCM. They have the label, their items, Hyundai, I don't know. ESC module. And then when you are braking, so you could go ahead and have your lights in the back, it sends a signal from here, goes in, and then it ties with your uh, stop lamp signal and it will come out sorry about that that will come out and it goes to your PCM or ECM depending on what type of uh, transmission you have and then it goes out to your ESC module then it goes into the in input circuit and the internal control. And then what happened is the IPS will actually uh, sends out uh, your current for your bulb to light up. At this point, you have a memory power which sends voltage through this line. I think it comes in, my bad, because you can see how the fuse is. Comes in, and then go to the switch, and also it comes into the IPS. My bad. And then right here, there was, uh, goes in. For automatic, it comes in. And it goes into your ESC again for your H. AC relay signal. Same as that one was a, a sump lamp signal. And then that goes in and it goes into your your tree. And it gets split. One of them goes to the high mount stop lamp, left and rear. Uh, left and right, my bad. Uh, lamp circuit. The cars are not being like, like they used to be. Now you have uh, modules that control these vehicles. Something so simple as a brake light switch is not that simple no more. Let that sink in. Now it's not that easy to diagnose a vehicle like how they used to be. Now you have multiple things that could cause something to uh, occur. Like in this point, obviously the module is connected, that's the reason why it doesn't work. But what if there was a, uh, there was an internal uh, system? Let's say it has like a BCM or a TIPM. Without that module, car won't start or, or it will not work. Unfortunately, that's what we are going to, and they will never stop.